Hey everybody, I'm Adam Harry with... Clint. We're from Bell Bustles and we have Aether War. Aether War! A class of magic and technology amidst storm-wracked skies. Uh, that's what it says in the box. Uh, this is pairing... You did it. Yeah, the Tarjan Overlords... Oh. Against <laughs> the... <laughs> we've already opened this one. <laughs> <laughs> against the uh, Disciples of Zinch. Uh, we've got some cool models in here. There's two new models, actually. If you haven't seen it already, we've got the <laughs> Magister on a disc. And the uh, engine engineer engineer on a, in a dirigible suit, which is super rad. Um, but yeah, lots of models in here, and this is a battle in the skies. Not only do you get the uh, core rules, this also has special rules for fighting uh, in the air, in the sky. Yeah. So if you have flying models, this one's for you. All right, let's check it out. Let's do this. <coughs> let's crack it. Boom! Ah, so pretty. Yes. To start. Holy crap. A lot of, a lot of plastic so in much. there. A lot of plastic in here. Um, we're going to separate this out, kind of uh, Zinch, Cardinal Overlords, and then we'll go through it. But we're going to pull all the plastic out uh, <laughs> and go through it here. We'll be, be right with you back. in a minute. <laughs> First off, we've pulled all of the Zinch um, miniatures out. And if you notice here, it's the Zangor box. <laughs> two copies, is. really. Uh, so we're going to pull this one because these two are the same. Uh, it's the same kit for the previous uh, Zangor shamans on, uh, uh, on Enlightened discs. and Skyfires. Yeah, yeah. Skyfire, yep. So that's this kit. <laughs> it, it hasn't changed at all. Um, it's just a very cool kit, having said that. Um, we've also got the Screamers, which we have seen those before. Uh, these are the new plastic Screamers, which are pretty cool. Uh, lots of detail on all this stuff. Uh, but the one I know everybody's really interested in is the Magister. So... We're gonna move the rest of these to the side and take a good look at this new Magister kit, which is, uh, we hope shows up <laughs> eventually as a solo release. Maybe. <laughs> but uh, we'll if see. Veteran holds true. You're gonna have to pick up Aether War to get your hands on this one. So. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it is a Magister on a disc of Zinch, which is super cool. You can see the, uh, the crazy flare coming off of mm. that thing. This uh, is definitely my favorite Disc of Zinch model because all the others are like floating on that cool magical vortex, but his actually looks like he's like surfing it. Yeah, he's surfing on it. He's not just you know riding on it. So yeah, uh, very cool stuff. And there's the flip side as you can see. This piece is gonna fit right in there. You have a nice base for your your Magister on there. So I also like that his disc isn't round. Yeah, it's not perfectly round. It's kind of teardrop shaped, and that's neat. Yeah. Makes it different from the other ones. Yeah. Makes it's going to make him out. stand out. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Uh, let's do the same thing with the Karjan Overlords now. Let's do it. Okay. Here are the Karjan Overlord minis. If you notice here, there's actually two of these. Uh, these are two copies of the same sprue um, for... Engine riggers. Engine riggers. I'm trying to make sure they line up. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you can build them in different ways depending on what you need. So... Um, Two copies of those. Boom, boom. Lots of detail. If, if you haven't seen them before, we actually did unboxings for those already. Yeah, that's uh, neat. Here's the gunboat, which the is gun pretty struck cool. gun hauler. <laughs> <laughs> I believe this is the smallest of the airships, right? Yeah. The sky vessels. It is. Because um, it goes gun hauler, frigate. Arconaut, right? Arconaut, yeah. Yeah. Or uh, iron. Whatever. Ironclad, yeah. Ironclad, yeah. Sorry. They are Arcanauts, though. Yeah, yeah. anyway. <laughs> this is a really cool model. Uh, I always love these kits, too, because they have, they're have they basically hollow. Yeah. It's a big ball, and you can do some cool... If you're one of the types that likes to get crazy with the LEDs or stuff like that, or magnetizing things, or using electronic lights Don't or whatever... Don't say that to me, Adam. You know what yeah. I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> do it, Clint. <laughs> You've never done that before. Never, a, not once. Yeah, to a, a Fire Slayer. Or <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, you can do some cool stuff with these kits uh, with just... Again, because they're hollow on the inside, so uh, really cool stuff. But we've seen it before. What we haven't seen before is the new engines here. Here, so let's check this model out. Again, similar to the Magister, new model, same deal. Uh, currently only available in Aether War. So if you want this model, and <coughs> we've seen the rules, you probably do. You definitely do. <laughs> uh, it's a really cool kit. He's a, he's got like a ton of guns. So many guns. Yeah. Uh, it's like the Neo. It's like Neo. He just walked in and he's like, all, all the guns. I need guns. I need all of them. <laughs> uh, and he's got, like, you know, different options, too. But, uh, yeah, mostly guns. A couple swords. Uh, he's got his dirigible suit, too. He's floating around. Kind of like uh, their, their leader, um, the, the Lord Master Gunstrock or mm -hmm. whatever. <laughs> Brock, I think Brock. his name is. 
Yeah, Grunderson. Brock Gunnerbeard or Gunner, whatever. Gunnerbeard. <laughs> He's got mustache pistols as all. He does. Uh, but it's a it's a neat little kit too. Again, perfect for Aether War if you're looking to uh, fly around in the skies with these minis. So, very cool stuff. Now let's take a look at the rest of the goodies in the box. We haven't actually opened up the rest of this, so we're gonna, we're we're going in blind mm -hmm. here. But uh, have the cool uh, art piece again. Doubles as like protect your books and uh, from your from your minis. But you could probably frame that hanging up yeah. if you want. Uh, here's all the bases. I was wondering where those were. And then we've got this package of horse roll cards and some other stuff, which we will open up here momentarily. But you're wondering about your bases and your flight stands and all that fun stuff. They're in the box too. So we're crooked engine rigger flight stands. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> all right, let's open this up and we'll be right back. So what was in the packet? Well, we got some new cards. So we'll flip these real fast. We've got some hidden agendas here. Uh, I believe these are for your um, Disciples of Zinch, correct? Yeah, but these are different than the ones in the book. Okay. Because I think some of them are for... Uh, some of them are for your... Or for the Caratrons and some of them are for uh, Zinch. Yeah. So these are probably part of the uh, new Sky Rules. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> or something like that. Uh, we also have War Scroll cards. These should be updated to reflect the uh, rules on their um, battle tomes. But double check. I always double check this because sometimes the word is a little bit different. Um, but yeah, if you if you want the war scroll, war scroll cards for your units, these are super duper handy. Definitely recommend keeping those around. And you get one for each unit in the game, or in the box, excuse me. Uh, Aether War, which we'll flip through here in a second. This is neat because it's got some extra extra rules here. This is thicker than normal. Yeah. So, uh, speaking of rules, core rules, I'm sure everybody's got like a dozen of these by now. <laughs> but there's your core rules for all the Age of Sigma rules to get started right in the box. We have some cardboard punch outs, which are always super handy. If you're gonna play either one of these factions, I'm sure you can find a use for tokens. If nothing oh, else, absolutely. command point tokens. <laughs> super handy there. Um, and you get your two range finders, AKA rulers. <laughs> um, and then also instructions on how to put everything together, which of course you need. Because so, you do. Because you do. Cool. Uh, now let's flip to the Ether War booklet here. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit more on this one. So, these over yeah. Let's move this stuff back just a touch. And I'm a little excited about this one more than maybe... I'm not planning on playing these factions, but I do have a Nighthaunt army, which means I have a lot of flyers. Yeah. And this book has rules for <clears throat> battles in the clouds. So if you have units that fly, you can participate. So I'm excited about this one because this is just a different way to play. So you get a couple battle plans in here, which we'll flip through, uh, and then also an introduction to all of the war scrolls for the different units in this game. So, um, yeah, flipping through here, kind of uh, setting you up the um, introduction between the these the two story factions. So far, yeah, <laughs> between the Overlords and the Disciples of Zinch. Uh, again, some of the stuff we saw in the two battle tomes as well. Yeah. So it's not. It's more like a, a magnification on those. Kind of battles versus like the books mention them and this is kind of a deep dive mm. into them we saw that same thing with feast of bone between the ogors and the osir bone reapers so similar setup similar formula there we get to meet the two factions we get to see the models do, 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 do. all all the models <laughs> uh battle in the clouds again this is a, a new ether war campaign um now it's designed i think to be played with the units in this box, uh, but there are some new rules that you could probably adapt to uh, any campaign, really. So, if you're cool playing like a narrative-driven campaign, yeah, and nobody likes playing those, right, Clint? No, nobody. <laughs> Why would you ever want to do that? Right? Who likes to make up stories for your armies? <laughs> Me. Uh, <laughs> so, Eye of the Storm uh, is is the first kind of mission for the first battle plan, and again, it's uh, it it is designed to be an Overlord versus Zinch kind of a fight, but there's no reason you can't have two different flying units to yeah, just kind of... Yeah, for sure. There are two different flying forces to go at it. Uh, <clears throat> staking a claim, same deal. It's the second battle plan. And again, you can see how these battle plans kind of build on top of each other um, and tell the story. You get a couple of different war scrolls too, which is nice. Uh, because especially for the uh, Overlords, they only had four yeah. war scrolls in their book counting um, the big the big battle, uh, big battalion. So it's kind of nice. This is cool. Yeah. 
Uh, what does this one do? When making a charge off units from this battalion, roll 3d6 and remove one. Oh, drop, so, drop one, yeah. So it's like, oh, I rolled two sixes and a one. I'm charging 12 inches. <laughs> I only want to go seven. <laughs> yeah, that's me. That's pretty cool. I mean. <laughs> this one over here uh, is after the armies have been set up before the first battle begins, you can move friendly units from this battalion up to six inches. So It's not bad. It's not bad. That can give you the jump on... Um, on taking an objective or something like that too. Mm -hmm. And then we get all the war scrolls as well. So very cool stuff and pitch battle points uh, for the two battalions, which are both clocking in at 110. Yeah. So in case you were wondering there. So again, uh, new rules for fighting the skies with those battle plans. Um, again, it is designed for the units in this box set. But there's no we can make it work. You can make it work. We can make flying fire slayers, right? Wait, they don't have those. I mean... <laughs> Well, let's see. You could do Night Haunt. You could do Soul Blight. There's that one yeah. Soul Blight thing that can all fly. Yep. Yeah. You can make it work. Uh, there's the uh, Varen Guard, the eighth, the eighth, uh, eighth chapter. Or whatever. Yeah. The, the, the eighth all, circle. Yeah. The eighth circle. Thank you. Flying all Varen Guard. Flying Varen Guard. <laughs> I'm just saying, you can replace eighth or <laughs> you can have a campaign. Uh, it, hey, it's your game. You do what you want. Uh, but that is everything in the eighth or box set. Uh, I am Adam Harry. I am Clint Leno. We're from Bell Love Souls. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.